I told him it looked like a good day to go riding, so uh, if he didn't have any problems, I'd see him tomorrow. It's opening day in another way today. The snow has fallen and the sleds are making treads. He's even an experienced rider will forget, you know, how fast he's actually going till he comes into a corner, or, you know. So yeah, you definitely want to take it easy when you first start riding. But with a recreational sport that involves speed, ice, and snow, without a whole lot of protection, Department of Natural Resources Conservation Officers want you to take it easy and take care of yourself. Be speed number one and operating on frozen surfaces or water number two. Uh, there are a lot of other reasons people have bad snowmobile accidents, but if you take speed and you take ice conditions out, it leaves very, very narrow band. Sergeant Michael Borkovich says lay off the throttle, don't drink and drive, and pack for the worst case scenarios. If you put a little thought into survival gear, you put a little thought in how, when, and where you operate, you're going to have a lot safer season. Include a survival blanket, matches, life jacket, a 100-foot rope, and even a pick of life to pull yourself out of the water if you drop in what right now is unsafe ice. They basically have a very heavy spring-loaded front end, and these are worn around the snowmobiler's neck like this. The bumps are like this. We take them all down and we straighten them up. And the there's an accident, we're equipped. New this year, snowmobile licenses cost $45, an extra $10 from last year. That money goes toward grooming safe routes. Just watch the speed and, and hand signals. Keep an eye on the people behind you and just, you know, whoever's in front, pay attention. Because it's these simple steps and awareness that will keep you safe. DNR conservation officers tell me that snowmobile safety may seem trivial, but every year it's an important reminder to both the beginner and advanced riders because it could save lives. In Antrim County, I'm Andrew Keller, 7 and 4 News.